I look around, man is the only thing that named the animals. But there's so many and people. And everything else that we and see. everything else that we see. Man is the only thing that, that named things. Mm -hmm. Just man. Mm -hmm. Just anything that you look at, man named that. Nobody else did. Mm -hmm. So just by and large, because like you said, we do have authority. Absolutely. But why? And this is the point that I get, and I say, who named man? Right. Because whoever named man, that's how we know where he gets his authority. Mm -hmm. Again, we read Genesis chapters 1 through 3, mm -hmm. and we, we good. Because what? In that very verse, it tells us who named man. And before I even got there, I get there, just, just again, that, that alternative worldview, that evolutionary worldview that says man just evolved from an animal. It's like, it just doesn't make any sense because no other animal named itself. The cat doesn't go up to the dog and say, I'm going to call you a dog. Right. No, it's the man who named the cat and the dog. Mm -hmm. You know, so we all of a sudden just named ourselves. Like, what other animal does that? Mm -hmm. This but man, because we have the authority. We are the dominant race. And not just, and not just the dominant race, the dominant species, but what? We were given our name by what? Our creator. Mm -hmm. And then what did the creator say? Hey, you go. And you name the animals, thus giving man authority mm -hmm. over his creation. Mm -hmm. And so that, that's the point that I, I end up making because I say uh, in the Hebrew, the, the name for man is Adam. Right. Therefore, in Genesis, when God said, let us make man in our image mm -hmm. after our likeness, mm -hmm. the word for man is Adam. Mm -hmm. And creating man, he was also Name. naming him. Mm -hmm. And so God has authority over man mm -hmm. and the principle of naming proves this because like I said I just use the uh, principle whatever you name you've got authority over right you got a son you name your son you got, got authority God said have dominion over have this. the dominion so he's given us authority and as he has given us authority well, we are accountable to him he's given us a piece of his authority I yeah. will go there you know yeah. Being Christian, we know we have no authority, but yeah. but God's authority over over creation. Over creation, we, we do, and that, yeah. and, that, and that's and like I said, just a practical point is we name the animals. So so let's get into a little bit something a little bit more practical. You talk about in addition to naming man, God also gave Adam a job to work and keep the garden. Mm -hmm. So now the importance of authority comes with the, the, what what comes what derives from authority is now responsibility. Oh, yeah, absolutely, right. Mm -hmm. So you're, now you're saying, in the text, we see God give Adam his name, created Adam, give Adam his name, and then now he, he imparts authority into Adam, and now he expects Adam to distribute this authority through the lens of mm -hmm. responsibility to work and keep up the garden. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Right? Define what you're talking about a little bit on that, man. Elaborate. Yeah, um, I think we've been talking about it, that yeah. man has... Authority over the creation. There, there's n absolutely no doubt about that. Every inch of this earth, man has some uh, dominion, some authority over it. And that is a good thing. Mm -hmm. That is a good thing because it is, on it is only man who is made in the image of God. So thus, he has given us mm -hmm. this dominion. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the, the issue is how do we exercise this dominion? And so I gave the example of the animals. Though we have dominion over the animals, we're to be responsible for them. That doesn't mean that we can treat them any way that we want to treat them, that we don't honor them, because I think what happens is because we say we have dominion over them, we can abuse animals. Or, or so you're saying our authority has boundaries? Absolutely. Why does it have boundaries? Because we're going to answer to the one who has given us the authority. It's and like, I think we'll go too far. Yeah, and, <laughs> and exactly. It's like if you, if you loan somebody your car, You've given them authority over your car, but ultimately they're going to be what? Accountable to, to you who've lended them the car. Mm -hmm. So there's still that authority piece that you just can't do what you want to do, even though you've been given the keys. Yeah. You know? yeah. So we've been given the keys to the house, and there's um, just, just this great example, and I talk about it in later chapters, where God gives this parable where he says he, he gave uh, the master of the house... Um, or he owned a house, and he gives just authority that, hey, just maintain my house while I'm gone. Mm -hmm. Take care of my house while I'm gone. Mm -hmm. The person he leaves in charge of the house does not take care of the house. He does what he wants. He oppresses the, the servants. 
he just does whatever as if it's his own house. Mm -hmm. And then he says, when I come back, I'm going to hold you accountable for how you manage what I have given you. Mm -hmm. And what? God has given us dominion over his creation. Mm -hmm. It ain't ours. Mm -hmm. It ain't ours. So we just can't come off on somebody who already on the land and just say, this is mine. I'm taking it. Mm -hmm. You know, we can't just exercise authority like that because it's not like we negotiated a deal. It's not like, you know, we paid for it. We came and just said, I'm going to kill you and then take this land. So is this the root problem in America today? Power. You could say that, yeah. You could you could say just a misunderstanding of of authority. Like I said, just just look at just history, and I don't want to just throw America under the bus, but just the any empire, empire the world, any empire yeah. is just conquer, conquer. Somebody else is there. I'm going to conquer them and take over. Why? Because I'm going to be in control of it. Whatever. Just go through history. All of the empires they conquered other nations, so their territory could what expand. Mm -hmm. It wasn't as if they just bought them out. They made a deal. It was what war. If you lose in this war, I'm gonna kill you, or you gonna come work for me, and I'm gonna be what an authority. Mm -hmm. Now I understand that's how most of history operated, but that doesn't make it right, mm -hmm. because God has given us dominion to what live in peace with one another, live in unity with one another, not simply, okay, you got some land over there that I want, I'm gonna come and just take it from you forcefully. Mm -hmm. And when that happens, it's like, who, who holds them accountable? No one, because they're an ultimate authority. But what? If I answer to God, then what? I'm going to be responsible for how I treated the people he has created. Mm -hmm. I just can't come just killing anybody because I want it. There's consequences for that. There's consequences. But if there's no God whose authority that I'm under, what consequence do I suffer? 